So yes, I can swim. So clearly the character is not used to swimming in general and has not shown that they can swim before. And I know the scene is when they're avoiding the owls and they're jumping off the waterfall. I think I remember doing the research on panthers to see if they could swim, so I would know if Mez was able to, and I found out she would be able to. So I'm gonna go with Mez the panther as the person who said that quote. Oh, sweet. <laughs> we'll finish this fight later. Um, obviously, if they're in a fist fight, they're not just going to say we're just going to finish this fist fight later. This is probably two characters who are fighting verbally. Um, they are who would be having a spat in the Lost Rainforest. Maybe because she has the most lines in the book, I'm going to go with Mez the Panther, who's probably been fighting with one of her friends, and then says that they'll finish later. Ah, oh, Merp. Uh, okay, yeah, so Mez's sister Chumba would have wanted to finish their fight uh, later. It's probably early on, they're having a little family spat, either with Mez or with Mist, their obnoxious cousin. Man, I guess I don't know my book as well as I thought I did. Oh. Um, this one I feel really secure on. Okay, so tree frogs in the Amazon exude a poison on their back uh, when they get um, when they get nervous that they're going to be attacked. And so Rumi, the tree frog, everyone's worried that at some point he's going to get too excited and just exude poison and kill his friends by accident. So Rumi, in his very sort of erudite scholarly way, is trying to convince everyone that he is fine. So Rumi, the tree frog. Nice. So I know the scene this is talking about, this is where the, the friends are trying to cross a vine bridge and there's a lot of wasps underneath that go attack them. I'm trying to think of who would claim that that was dirty work. My guess is this is maybe Goji the monkey, who's the one who saved the day in that scene by using his fire to f smoke out the wasps. So I'm gonna go with Goji the monkey, but I'm feeling like 60% on this one. Ah. Oh. All right, so yeah, that's good. I miss a few and then I get a little bit more hungry to get them right, so uh, I had to work harder on that one. But I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, come to think of it. That sounds like the most stream of consciousness of the characters, uh, the one who has a thought and just says it right away uh, in this kind of ongoing prattle. So I'm thinking that's probably Lima the Bat. Ah, oh, that's Goji the Monkey. That was two Gojis in a row, that's really sneaky. Um, I need to spend more time with my characters. Fine, I can't believe either of you clearly. So this is a character who is not trusting the people around them. What about? I'm not totally sure. Um, I think maybe this is Mez, our main character, who's not sure which advice to go with from her friends. Oh. Aunt Usha, who would be very domineering. Um, I should have gotten that. This is definitely in her character to say something like that. I'm not sure who that is. All right, someone who gets mistakenly called evil. Maybe, maybe this is Oriel, the boa constrictor. No one's quite sure if he's good or bad for most of the book. Oh, Merp, that's Mez. So you take your protagonist and you take your possible villain and you mix them up. Awesome. Good job, <laughs> Elliot. Okay, uh, I know who you are. The ants told me you'd be coming. So Lima the bat, when she was with her colony waiting for Oriel to arrive, um, had had a really boring time, and she was just talking to the ants that were wandering through the bat cave. Uh, and I believe that they had told her, through Oriole's magic, that he would be arriving. And so Lima just wants to skip ahead and get on with the adventure and not do all the boring, like, oh, I am Oriole, the snake of legend. So she just wants to skip ahead and have fun. So I think that sounds like Lima the bat. Nice. Okay. So 
This is clearly spoken by an animal that is not a mammal. And speaking parts that are given to non-mammals in the West Rainforest generally go to rain, uh, to reptiles. Um, but this is not a reptile, I don't think. This sounds dastardly and um, like a character who doesn't really value the lives of other animals. So I'm thinking this is probably the Ant Queen, who is the most monstrous enemy the rainforest has ever known. Ant Queen, final answer. Oh, nice. So this is, I'm actually working on the future books in the series, and this is kind of a running theme with this character who, she's really happy-go-lucky and can be a little bit shallow at times, and she, often looks at their enemies and thinks like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Uh, so this is Lima the bat, who is a little bit uh, transfixed by appearances. All right, nice. Perhaps you were expecting someone cuddlier. Is this someone really not cuddly? Who would like to be cuddly? Who would like to be a little more included in the group? Uh, I'm thinking this is Oriel the boa constrictor. Oh, nice. All right, I'm back on track. I'm Elliot Schrafer. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click there. <laughs>